if the Lord came down to this earth right now and said to you, I like you and I'm going to give you anything your heart desires, I wonder what you'd ask for. Do you think you'd ask for all the candy and ice cream and cake that you'd ever want for the next 50 years? Or maybe a pair of wings so you could fly like a bird? Or uh, maybe a new car for your dad or a lot of new clothes for your mother? Or a big beautiful house with your very own swimming pool? Well, I'd like you to hear a story of one of the wisest, smartest men who ever lived. This man's name was Solomon, and the story is found in the book of Kings in the Bible. Solomon loved the Lord very much, and he worshipped him as had his father, David. Well, the Lord loved Solomon so much that one night he appeared to Solomon and invited Solomon to ask for whatever he wanted, and he, the Lord, would give it to him. Just imagine that. God telling Solomon he would give him anything he wanted, anything. And what did Solomon ask for? Riches? Health? Victories? Fame? No. The Bible tells us Solomon asked the Lord for an understanding heart. Well, the Lord was so pleased with this request from Solomon that in addition to giving Solomon a wise and understanding heart, he gave him vast riches and fame and a long life. So, thanks to the Lord God, Solomon, king of Israel, ruled wisely. One day, two women came before King Solomon and argued about a baby. The one woman said, this woman has stolen my baby. The one who was accused replied, this baby is mine. Well, they argued back and forth as to whom the baby belonged. So Solomon said, bring the child here. They did. And Solomon said, bring me a sword. And they did. And then he said, now because each of these women claim the baby, take the sword and divide the child in two, giving half to the one woman and half to the other. The one woman agreed this was a good idea, but the real mother of the child screamed, no, O king, do not slay my baby, give it to this other woman. So you see, Solomon, with his wise and understanding heart, found out who was the mother of the child and restored the baby to her. Friends, if everyone in the world today had an understanding heart, how much better this old world would be. Misunderstanding actually causes most of the quarrels and fights which we have as individuals, as well as the wars and bickerings between nations. If each one of us just understood why people do the things they do, we would be more tolerant of others. Let's each one of us ask God, as Solomon the brilliant man asked him, Lord, Please give me a wise and understanding heart.